The collaborative nature of product design and development often results in you working with any number of various file types from any number of sources. As such, being able to work effectively with these files plays a crucial role in the development of your design, which is where Fusion 360 direct editing capabilities come into play. AnyCAD is an inbuilt technology within Fusion that lets you import, edit, and assemble a variety of non-native file types, including SolidWorks files, whilst minimizing disruption to your workflow. In this video, I'm going to show you a few examples of direct modeling in practice to give you a better idea of how and where you can apply it. Here I'm designing a dirt bike, although the transmission and oil chain cover have been outsourced and designed by one of our suppliers. Our supplier uses different 3D modeling software, meaning we can't receive native Fusion files, which is where direct editing comes into play. We can simply import the file, as we would with any other file, then get to work. After opening the file, the first thing you may notice is there is no timeline, so our design history will not be recorded. We can turn this on at any time by right clicking on the base component and selecting Capture Design History. Although I generally prefer to check and prepare the file before doing so to reduce any unnecessary complexity. After reviewing the file, I can see a few changes that need making. First, I can see one of the counterball holes on the chain guard is misaligned. Second, the fillet here is a bit off so I want to change this to be more uniform. Thirdly, after inspecting I want to rotate this feature on our transmission cover so the face is positioned dead centre between the mounts. For the misalignment we can use the move command to reposition the hole. Press M to open up the move dialog box, make sure faces is selected in the move object drop down and select the internal hole face. There are a number of move types available here, although in this case I want to use the point to point command to ensure the holes are aligned via their respective centre points. Select the centre point of the chain guard origin hole and the target point of the transmission cover hole and you'll see the feature aligned to its target. Remember, you can always hold control or command on a Mac to lock in any origin points that appear when you hover over a face or a feature. After aligning, I also see the hole is slightly oversized and there are a number of ways we can resolve this. The first method is the offset face command to increase or reduce the diameter. Double check the diameter size then open the offset face command select face and specify the diameter. No calculations needed just enter your desired value and press OK. I'll undo this and show you the second method by using the find feature command. This is similar to feature recognition in SOLIDWORKS and automatically detects a number of design features. Right click on any body and select find features. In this case we'll select hole and press OK. Any found features are populated under the body where you can right click and edit to the specified value. The next issue is the fillet. Here you may consider manually selecting each fillet and deleting, although this can be time consuming. Also, with direct editing, Fusion calculates the shortest or most efficient healing based on surrounding edges or faces. At times this can be problematic if an optimal solution cannot be found, as shown here. In this case, it would be better suited to remove all connected fillets in one action, then reapply. To do this, First I select the body and make sure the select through command is switched on in the selection filters drop down. Then drag from left to right over the top and bottom fillets. If I rotate the model, you'll see that only features that were inside the box select are highlighted. So we just need to deselect any unwanted faces, press delete to remove, then reapply. You can now see the fillets are more uniform when compared to the original. The final issue is on the transmission cover where I want to rotate an existing design feature without having to completely remodel.
After inspecting the dimension, I find the angle to be off by 7.2 degrees. To resolve this, I simply select all respective faces, including those on the underside by using the through all selection. Then again, press M to move, select rotate in any circular axis and enter 7.2 degrees. We finished making our amendments and now we can add this sub-assembly to our motor. With direct editing, you can quickly and efficiently import, edit and assemble designs which are non-native to Fusion 360. This makes working with suppliers and customers a much simpler task as you are not constrained by a preferred choice of software.